Well, last year, a Florida pastor named Terry Jones made headlines by threatening to burn a Quran during a worship service. A lot of press coverage and a couple of high-level interventions later, he agreed not to do it. Well, in March, he did it anyway. And protests of his action in Afghanistan have led to at least 20 deaths. The radical response to this action was foreseeable, to say the least. In my New York Times best-selling book, Culturally Incorrect, I recounted the protests surrounding a Dutch newspaper's publication of several editorial cartoons depicting Mohammed, which also turned deadly. Reverend Jones may not have blood on his hands, but burning the Quran in public and webcasting it with Arabic titles was a high price to pay for a publicity stunt. If Terry Jones isn't as much of a black eye for our faith as the infamous Reverend Fred Phelps, he's at least in the discussion. Speaking out against radical Islam is necessary in our day, but the truth about Islam is provocative enough, in my opinion. Burning a Quran wasn't about confronting Islam, it was about bringing the spotlight back to the Reverend Terry Jones. And he's already proven he really doesn't deserve it. I'm Rod Parsley. That's just one preacher's perspective.